2020 has been challenging for a lot of people. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about three ways that you can still win in 2020 to make sure you achieve your goals going into 2021. Check it out. Hi, I'm Eric Halan, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about three ways that you can still win in 2020. The year's not over. We're coming to the end of the year now. We're entering the holiday season. And even though it may have been a rough start, a rough middle, you can still finish strong. So here are three ways that you can still win and achieve your goals this year so that you go into 2021 even better. The first thing is you gotta recognize that we're entering goal setting season. This is the time where you're probably gonna spend a little more time at home. You may be with friends and family, and it may be a great time for you to reflect not only on 2020, but maybe the last five years and see what path you're on. It's always important to take some time to yourself and really reflect on where you've been and where you're trying to get to. We wanna make sure that your goals are clear going into the new year. So set SMART goals, goals that are specific, that are measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Setting these goals now will help you get prepared for the new year so that you can hit the ground running. The second way you can win in 2020 is by setting up a financial goal or maybe even a budget. Start small, do something for your finances that you've never done before. Do you take a percentage of every check that you earn and put it away into savings? Or do you take a certain percentage of every check you earn and put it into an investment account? Set up a small financial goal so that it can become a habit over the next couple of months going into the new year. And the third and final way that you can still win in 2020 is by hitting the reset button. Start now, don't wait until January 1st to reset the year. There are things that you may have had to put on the sideline because you had financial difficulties or health concerns, but now is the time to hit the reset button. You don't have to wait. There's no rule saying that you have to wait until January to set your goals and maybe your resolutions for the new year. If you get started now, you'll get a head start on the new year and you'll be able to get your mind right and ready to achieve your goals once again. If you need any help setting goals or hitting the reset button, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you're in the process of thinking about buying a home and that was your goal and maybe 2020 kind of pushed it aside, visit our website at homeownerprep.com assessment. You can take a free, quick, easy survey to see exactly where you're at financially so that way you're set up for the new year and get back on track to buying your first home. Don't let 2020 win. Now's the time to hit reset and get a jump start on your goals. The things that you may have had to put aside can now be brought back to the forefront and you can achieve those goals starting right now. Thank you.